Hey guys, it's Masatonic. I'm Bilingual Harukist. Minasan, konnichiwa. Bilingual Harukist and Masatonic. Haruki Murakami book guide novel 3 A Wild Sheep Chase. So, in this video, I'd like to talk about one of the very famous and popular Murakami's novel, A Wild Sheep Chase, in Japanese title. In Japanese, we could、uh, we call it Hitsuji o Meguru Boken. It's Very thrilling, thrilling, and interesting novel. I liked it very much. So I'm really excited about to talk about it. So let's get started. As always, this video consists of three parts first, overview, second, story, and third, deep reading. So, first, overview. This work has published 1982. Uh, October 13. So, 1982. Actually, I born in 1981. So, at, at this time, I'm still、uh, less than one year old anyway. And p u b l i s h e s c o r d a n s h a same as the、uh, previous two works. And this is very kind of,、uh, I would say, particular work because this is the third and the final of Rat Trilogy. So, what Rat Trilogy is. Means a、uh, Murakami's far,、uh, first th three works, like Here's a Wind Thing and the Pinball 1973, and this one about Ship Chase, is the、uh, same protagonist and the same very important character has featured.、Uh, this is a Rat. If you ever read、uh, any of the work, you can tell、uh, Rat is, rat is a、um, friend of a prot protagonist and、um, kind of nickname. And then、um, It's a, oh, also, we could call it、uh, Rat himself, is a, how to say,、um, almost a protagonist, or how to say, kind of shadow of a protagonist himself. So、uh, we could call it these three works as the Rat Trilogy. And this is the third and the final one. Actually, after the、uh, Dance, Dance, Dance Ladies, and then the Dance, Dance, Dance has the same protagonist. Boku or I. But、um, in Dance Dance Dance, basically a rat uh, um, not featured so much. So, in a way,、um, at the, you know, wind and pinball and、uh, a ship, we could call it this, these three works are rat trilogy. Right. And、uh, one more impo very important thing is Murakami him, himself recognized this one, a wild ship chase, is his. Debut novel of, of his professional novelist. So, what does that mean?、Yeah, this is a third work of, of, him, of Murakami, but he recognizes this is the debut novel because he thinks the first two novels, a, He Has a Wind Thing and Pinball 1973, is a kind of a training stage、uh, for himself. for him. So,、um, of course, we could enjoy it very much, but As a, how to say, Murakami's standard, the, this, these previous two works is a kind of,、uh, how to say, not reached his, his standard. So, but, you know, and, and actually at that time,、uh, when he wrote these two previous two works,、uh, he、uh, had still owned his、um, jazz bar. So,、uh, running a jazz bar. Uh, daytime and after the writing a novel in the nighttime. So it's kind of a half and half life. So, and then, but see, at this way, he wrote a, a wild ship chase. He, he、um, started to a professional career as a full time professional career. He stopped to running his own jazz,、uh, jazz bar. So, in a way, he, he, he recognized this is a debut novel as a professional writer. So, in a way, it's very much important、uh, things. And、um, as a word, a week to tell, it's kind of、uh, it's a third story of a rat trilogy, but、um, a week to tell, there is some difference between、um, uh, compared with、uh, previous two works. Because, like I mentioned,、um, other a book guide about these previ、uh, pre previous two works, the two works is much more. Um, kind of pile of an episode and、uh, short episode, short episode piling up, and then in total consists of a kind of a novel. But in compared、uh, with that previous two works, this one, a wild ship chase, is much more kind of story, story、um, drives readers to read through it. 
So much more powerful story they got. And that story is the basic, how to say, structure is a reminder of um, Raymond Chandra's The Long Goodbye. And The Long Goodbye is uh, Murakami's one of the favorite a kind of novel. And also he translated from English to Japanese. So, and then um, they're kind of a detective or how to say, a, such a hard word ones, um, that structure and then kind of slightly um, atmosphere is also featured in this award ship chase. So, um, if you like the lemon chandra, also you can tell such an atmosphere. So yeah, that's a, a wild ship chase. So what kind of story is this? Uh, let's take a look at it. But um, this is very kind of long novel, and also in this this video is uh, made for someone those who not really uh, not reading it. So. Um, I try not to um, reveal too much details and uh, too much detail about it. So just a, a beginning or kind of um, summary, summary or overview of the story uh, I would, uh, I'm going to tell in this video. So, and here's a, a main character and a very kind of uh, overview of the story. And the protagonist, um, the very uh, beginning part, protagonist met a girl with amazing ears. This is very interesting. A girl with amazing ears. This girl, the, uh, this woman, doesn't have a name uh, in this novel. Actually, uh, af after uh, studies, dance dancers, uh, she got a name. Uh, she called it as Kiki. But in this novel, she doesn't have a name. So um, only she got a very amazing ears. And when, he, when she opened uh, this amazing ears, some very mysterious power had occurred. That kind of, um, kind of mysterious woman. And then uh, they are met with each other. Actually, um, before they, they are encountering some other episode is, is had written a um, very beginning part of it. Uh, some other two girls, uh, some, uh, some girl who protagonist met with when he was uh, a high uh, no, college days and also a, a protagonist previous wife and and then the wife is a uh, same girl in, who featured in the pinball 1973 so it, after the store episode of nine, pinball 1973 they got married and then um before started the, the uh, world ship chase they got uh, divorced and then some some conversation between them had taken place uh, in this beginning of the world ship chase and but anyway that is maybe that episode some have some meaning um, as a text, but um, uh, how to say, uh, when you uh, think about the story itself, um, maybe the protagonist and the girl with amazing ears encountering is the very first step. And then she had some kind of, uh, when, when she used this amazing ears, a very secretive power, uh, she got the prof kind of a prophecy. She said to a uh, protagonist, um, you got a call in a minute, and then it's about sheep and why the sheep chase um, had, had been started. That, that kind of prophecy she got. And then the, the phone call is, is from um, protagonist friend, from protagonist friend uh, who owned a, a co-running co company. And, uh, and he, he talking about a very strange person, man in the black suit. So man in black or man in black. And then <clears throat> he, he hired, he worked for a very a super powerful person, kind of politician or we could call it a politician or such a the right wing type of politician, but um, uh, much more uh, much more power he had. Uh, in, in Nobel, he got the power who who ruled a Japanese society from the backside, such kind of a very powerful person. Uh, with, uh, in in Nobel, they, he called it as boss. And then and the man in the black suit worked for him. And then that kind of very uh, powerful person uh, who uh, came visit to protagonist and uh, his friend's office. And then he, he want to meet a uh, protagonist. And then 
and, and before he come, he, he's returning, the um, the friends uh, told his, his story to the protagonist, and their story is very, very, um, how to say, very much interesting because it's how to say uh, that that is the beginning of wild sheep chase. The reason why mine's a black suit uh, visited their office is um, as a request of or from the boss. A man in the black suit always searching for some special sheep who had a, a black star on on his back, and then the the sheep had a very special power. Maybe that special power I gave boss the, such a superpower. And then mind the black suit, try to find that that sheep. But um, they, over years or decades, he he can't uh, find that, that sheep. But uh, and finally he found some uh, some hint. And that, that hint is a uh, um, photograph, who uh, which is used for some insurance companies, a PR magazine, and then that. That PR magazine is um, protagonist and protagonist had make it, and then their photo, particular photo, which featured sheep is is a photo uh, protagonist uh, had had given from rat. So actually, the rat um, send protagonist to some letters, and with with some letters, uh, some kind of rat personal story is talking about, and then also he had some request, few request. And then within that request is uh, using this shipped photo uh, into the public. And then um, some unknown reason, a, he, a protagonist, uh, used the uh, ship, ship photo uh, as a PR magazine, uh, in the PR magazine. And then mind the black suit, uh, find, it, uh, find it. And then he, he think this is a ship which uh, him and also his boss uh, uh, try to find over decades. So, and that's why he beached their office and uh, they, he wants to meet uh, protagonist. And then uh, I, 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 I received their uh, request. And then he ac actually, I, I have no choice but um, how to say, uh, accept his offer. And then his offer is um, let. Uh, he wants, uh, he forced to protagonist to find that ship he, um, itself. And then of course, protagonists have a kind of hint because there's the ship's photo is sent from, uh, sent from rat. So maybe try to find rat is a uh, one, I'd say uh, one, one way. And uh, that ship is uh, apparently a, exist in the Hokkaido. So that's the beginning of the wild ship chase. And also adventure to Hokkaido, searching was the ship and ship with, with the black star. So that's a kind of that's a kind of beginning of the story. And then after that, adventure uh, had been told. And then, like I mentioned, um, this work is written in a kind of style of a detective type of story. So um, in the end, some hidden truths had been found by protagonist. And then there are kind of some, how to say, some ending this story had, uh, had concluded to some ending. That, that part is very much interesting. And the whole part is very, um, very interesting to read. Maybe a um, reader uh, can't stop her uh, turning page on because one of these stories is very much attractive and also they got featured very interesting uh, a character like this, the ship professor and also shipman because this is a, a story about ship. So there are so many characters related to ship, especially this one, the shipman is uh, first appeared in this novel. And after that in Dance Stance or any other Murakami novel, this, this shipman has featured. And then one thing very, interesting about Superman is uh, he appeared in this novel uh, with his illust illustration. And that illust is written by Murakami himself. <laughs> Superman's illustration is very much um, kind, kind of cute and then 
very much interesting. So if you never checked the shipment, you, you are sleeping or just simply Google it. You can you can find it on, on Google maybe. And then, but still, yeah, uh, it's worth leading to what the cheap one is all about. So that kind of story is story. All right, so how should we enjoy it? A deep reading or kind of reading tips um, from me. Uh, I got some list of how to enjoy more deeply and uh, uh, each uh, kind of, how to say, each action, uh, I, I rate some kind of level. And first, level one, enjoy the story itself. Like I mentioned it too many, so many times, it's very interesting story, but still it's kind of difficult to interpret, I think, but still without such a difficult interpretation or such a more kind of deep reading, you can enjoy it, just the story itself. So level one is just enjoy it, read, read, enjoy, and uh, and finish it, and oh, uh, I'm going to, and satisfied. That is very, uh, how to say, um, that itself is very much fun. So first recommend is just enjoy the story. And level two, cooking the meal, which protagonist had made at Rat House. So as same as another uh, Murakami's uh, novel, protagonist uh, um, cook, cooked very well. So, and then, uh, he cooked so many, uh, how to say, kind of nice um, food by cooking himself. So uh, maybe try to imitate he, the, his recipe. Uh, it's very much interesting way uh, using, uh, how to say, kind of five cents uh, to enjoy the novel. So, and then level three, wrap up. What the wild ship chase is all about? So, uh, Maybe you might think how this level one, level three thing is different because enjoying the story itself is not so difficult, just enjoying it. But um, actually this story is very complicated. And then to be honest, I'm not 100% grasp what, what this story is all about in the end. Because some, like I mentioned, very um, ending part, some hidden truths had been found by protagonists and of course by readers, but still, it, how each person's intention, it, what the, each person's intention is. And then in the end, what is this story? It's a little bit difficult to um, understand. It's it's same as Chandra's uh, novels. Some Chandra's novels is very, uh, approach is very complicated. It's same as here. So let's think about in the lap up is very kind of much deep, uh, one way to deep, very, uh, one way to lead very deeply, right? So here's a level three and also level three and pray air made special by guitar. One part, one part of the story protagonist um, had started to practice a guitar and then to, to perform an air mail special, uh, which is a Ben Goodman's jazz a music. If you are very good at playing guitar, maybe not, it's, it's not level three, maybe level one, but um, still, um, it's very interesting way to like uh, cooking, uh, enjoying ways of five senses by, um, by playing guitar. So maybe it's good. I mean, maybe you can tell what's the uh, um, protagonist the feeling at that time, you can tell, you might tell, all right, and uh, last one, um, five, uh, four star. Um, oh, sorry, non -ido, it's kanji. So, level. In in Japanese, we could call it nine -ido or kind of diff how uh, uh, difficulties is, is level. But anyway, here's a uh, visit Hokkaido. So this stage, this number of stage mainly in Hokkaido in the north. Um, a part of Japan. So if, when you beat uh, Hokkaido, maybe you can much more enjoy the uh, atmosphere of this novel or an um, adventure, how to say, doing adventure in Hokkaido, how, how, how to say, how wide the, the adventure could be. You can tell um, with much more, uh, how to say, uh, recognition. So um, 
And actually, in Hokkaido, there is some kind of model place uh, of the this novel. And then some residents who lived in that maybe supposed to be the model of Hokkaido um, of World Ship Chase has some uh, once took place a book club at this the very particular farm. So and at that time I I, I had an opportunity to meet the uh, host the the event book club, but and um, uh, I couldn't make it to to join that that very interesting uh, event uh, unfortunately. But uh, still, the phrase itself, is, I think, still existed. So, but now it's very difficult to travel, especially from the overseas to Japan. It's very much, uh, almost maybe more difficult, very, very much difficult. So, but after this situation, um, this pandemic is over. And then when you, when you can travel around the world, maybe most um, interesting way to enjoy the uh, our trip chase is visiting Hokkaido. And then uh, in the Hokkaido, you can read, uh, read this novel. It's much more um, interesting and a funny way. So that's it. So that's my reading tips from me. So yeah. So it, that's all. Thank you for watching the video. I hope this video would make you uh, want to read or read again. And again, Wild Ship Chase is very much interesting novel. In, in the many ways, you can enjoy the, this interesting Murakami story. All right. So thank you again. And if you liked it, my video, um, please give me a good rate. And I would appreciate if you subscribe my channel. Right. So, and then like this, I posted um, Murakami's book guide, uh, two to three uh, video per week. So uh, please keep on enjoying it. So let's see another video. See you. Bye.